Seven days ago, the world hears Steve Vai's new song for the very first time. I've been listening to this nonstop, and I'm still discovering some amazing musical secrets. The song starts with this catchy groove, something you'd want to play, at least it'd mean you want to pick up a guitar and try that, although it was a little weird. See those chords there? Usually you would base your licks on something familiar like the pentatonic scale. No, this is different. The first few times I listened to this, I felt that I was a little dumb for not understanding what was going on. And also a moment of, oh yeah, I love this. Now typically when I hear a new song from an artist I love, I'll listen to it a few times, look forward to the album and leave it at that. But something compelled me here to keep pushing and keep listening. The reason we're doing this is that when your mind is preoccupied with things it doesn't understand, chords, harmony, rhythm, it can't truly embrace the message that is behind those things. And so I sliced the song into sections that kind of made sense to me. Now check this out, let's go back to that first section. There were some musical elements that were kind of familiar, like this chord, for example. And I figured out that that chord is a B flat minor six. I don't know about you, but when I see or hear a minor six chord, I think Dorian. Carlos Santana, Pink Floyd, Dire Straits. This doesn't sound like classic rock. At first, I thought that Steve was just messing around the guitar, just going off of shapes or his ear, or he was using something that I was not really familiar with. Uh, so I thought I'm gonna continue listening and maybe I'll find something that will give me a clue as to what is really going on. So we have this intro going on, minor six chord, I wonder if that weird chord can be extracted from a scale that resembles the Dorian mode. And to find out if two chords are part of the same scale, I have a recipe. Step one, take chord A. Step two, take chord B. Step three, blend both chords together. Step four, assign a note to be the root, in this case, B flat. As long as you can assign a unique interval to each note, the chords are part of the same scale. So far, that's Dorian, all right. However, we have a sharp four right here. Having that knowledge really helps me appreciate this section a little more. I understand what's going on, I can name it, I can play it, and that was key for me to really dive into what Steve was trying to tell us musically. It's kind of like a glass of wine. Give a glass of wine to a kid. Disgusting! His palate is not used to it, he's gonna hate it. Thank you, good sir. Learn how to appreciate these things, and your appreciation, in my opinion, is gonna be much more profound. Kind of like this part right here. First time I heard that, it came as a surprise. It was a little uncomfortable. Then I, I thought about what is going on here and it's the rhythm. Once you have the rhythm, you can relate to that part. Knowing this allows my mind not to focus on it so much. And it gives me more focus on other things that are probably a little more important. Like these beautiful strange chords you hear in the middle section. What's unique about these chords is that they are not part of the same scale. When you improvise over such a chord progression, it's very difficult to sound melodic. So I did a little experiment. I extracted each note found on each chords, and any time I had one of these notes on the fretboard, I mapped it out. And then I tried to improvise following what I found. Sometimes, when you just work on something enough, what is formless and doesn't make much sense, eventually, people will appreciate the work you put into it. I'm still not good at art. <laughs> Click here to listen or re-listen to Steve Vai's Little Pretty. I know I will. Enjoy.